Hey MySQL learners, so in this video we are going to look at basically how table locks works in the context of uh, e-commerce database. We created a, a simple database or schema called ecom store and we created a bunch of tables. I used another dummy table to explain um, uh, transaction isolation levels so if you haven't seen my previous material go back and check it out and come back here but then yeah you have four tables four main tables and the main table that we are interested in is products table here and in the products table I inserted a couple of records uh, these are dummy records so I don't have a front-end or application running over here so we are just looking at database right so what what's going to happen in this uh, tutorial is um, so we we are going to basically simulate a situation where uh, a seller is trying to update the quantity of the book that he is selling on this website which is this first book actually the common path to uncommon success and then the right now the quantity of this the quantity available uh, you know for this book is 40 right so he wants to update this quantity to 100 and uh, also will have a couple of more uh, users or buyers basically one buyer is trying to buy the same book will have another buyer he'll he'll try to buy a different book uh, which is this book tiny habits and then the same buyer will also try to browse the website like of course like we are going to Im you know have to imagine a little bit because I don't have a front end to show you everything um, so let's actually see how this goes so first of all um, you know basics first actually let's actually turn off the auto commit um, just so just so actually we have uh, more control over what's happening and let me do that in all the three sessions I have open and the first session is the seller session the second session is the buyer one session and the third session is the buyer two session basically so I'm going to turn off the auto commit which is basically a mechanism that commits automatically if it's enabled and I don't want that so I'm disabling it so next is I want to show you the um, transaction isolation level and we talked about it in my uh, previous session so right now it's a repeatable read and it's the same for all so we are going to change that to read committed because read committed is the isolation is the right isolation level for OLTP databases so now uh, let's actually start with the first seller session so three sessions so the first seller session is gonna update the quantity of um, this book that he's interested in or he's selling actually but but we are going to take this uh, aggressive approach and log the whole table right so let's say the application is written in a way that it locks the whole products table for write and then the other session uh, let's say buyer one the second session buyer one comes and he is gonna try to buy two books and and how actually we're gonna do that is by running an update so we are basically updating the products table and we are subtracting the quantity by two which means actually the we are buying two books and which book is it you know the book where uh, the record where product id equals one right so if you remember the data product id one is this book let's go ahead and run this uh, update in the second session and it's going to obviously wait because the table itself has been locked for right by the seller session the buyer one session is 
waiting and let's go to the buyer 2 session the buyer 2 is try trying to buy a different book which book is it this other book which is tiny habits book Pro where product id equals 2 and we are going to do that and of course even that is hanging or waiting and that is actually a little bit <laughs> cr crazy isn't it so if uh, just seller is trying to update the quantity of this one record which is one book and everything is hanging and the buyer two who's trying to buy a different book he kind of gives up so he moves to a different session and instead of buying or trying to buy a book he just um, tries to browse uh, the website which is a select query or a read query right a select query which is also hanging <laughs> so the buyer 2 is getting frustrated right now so you can see how restricted this kind of uh, sequence is so if someone's using table logs it's going to basically reduce the concurrency of uh, the operations that can happen in this database so that's the, the main point here in this demo.